Today I'm going to be replacing the outside passenger mirror of my 1997 Toyota Camry. This is an electronic mirror, so I'm going to have to remove the door trim panel of the door here to get to the electronic connector and disconnect that. I'm about to remove the door trim panel from my car, and I wanted to note that uh, my car does not have a uh, side door airbag, but if you're working on a car with an airbag, you definitely want to remove the positive and negative terminals from your battery before you start. What I'm going to be doing is removing six Phillips head screws, uh, one here, and you may have a cover over yours. Then there's three that have these little cap covers on them uh, on the side here. There's one here, here, and here. I'll have to remove those before I can get to the screws. Then there's two more screws underneath. There's one here and one here. After getting the screws out, I'm going to remove this um, switch plate cover here and disconnect the wiring. Next, I will remove the mirror cover trim here. And then I'll remove this little plate here, trim plate. Um, after that, there's a little clip on the side here that I'm going to have to pull out. And once that's removed, I should be able to uh, just pull the uh, panel off, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The tools I'm going to be using are obviously a Phillips head screwdriver. When possible, I'm going to use the power screwdriver. I've got a small flathead screwdriver, uh, fairly thin. And I may use this putty knife uh, slash paint scraper. Now with the door panel off, I can start working on removing the mirror. I've already removed the trim cover plate from the uh, mirror. And I have to pull back this water shield, plastic water shield. It looks like it's tacked on here with uh, beads of uh, roofer cement, which is a good idea. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the electrical connector. connected right here. Okay, there's a little arrow that points to a tab right here. Pull that out and then on the side. Push that in. It's disconnected. Now there's uh, three retaining bolts. I need to remove the nuts from those bolts. Here, here, right here. Not quite sure that what this is, but I will loosen that as well. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket to loosen the nuts.
Okay, with the nuts off the bolt now, I'm just going to try to pull the mirror straight off. Here's a look at the auto salvage mirror that I picked up. Got this for uh, 26 bucks. I think it's in really nice shape. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. The color is champagne on this, and I think the match is uh, pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on now. That's it guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it out now. Looks good. Thanks guys for watching the video. Hope everyone has a great day. Until next time, take care.